Hey everyone, it's Diane. Welcome back to my channel where we talk about everyday French life and beyond. And if we've never met, I'm the American blogger behind the Living Abroad Lifestyle site, We in France. Today, I'm going grocery shopping and I'm going to share with you some interesting and weird French products that I've come across over the years at the grocery store. So let's get right into it. You can learn a lot about a country and its people by taking a stroll down the aisles of a grocery store. Even though I've been living in France now for over six years, I still get excited to go grocery shopping because there's always something new to discover. Grocery stores in France are awesome, and they range from your little neighborhood markets to giant supermarkets that have everything your heart desires and everything in between. There are so many delicious products to try like cheese, wine, biscuits, yogurt, and that's just getting started. But then there are a few products that are even a little more surprising or shocking at times, or just plain weird. And while nothing is too shocking now, there have been quite a few culture shocks over the past couple of years. So let's take a look at a few of my favorite weird French grocery store items. And for the record, weird is just my perception as a foreigner, and this is not a cultural critique against the French or anything like that. It's just a lighthearted video. So keep in mind, no place is better than anywhere else. It's just different. So with that, let's have a look around my local supermarket. With bakeries on every corner, why would French people want to get pain au chocolat or chocolate croissants in a can? Why? That's something you'd see in the US or where chocolate croissants are not readily available. But when you could get fresh ones just around the corner, why would you buy them to make in your own oven, processed and commercial? That's a little strange. France has all different types of meat products, things that we're used to like hamburgers, pork, lamb, and then there's all types of organ meat. And what you're looking at here is a cow tongue, a big juicy tongue from a cow. Yes, and you'll see cow cheek, you'll see all types of innards and organs, so just be ready for it. Even rabbits, like in this photo, that still has its eyes. The next one is all the flavors of the potato chips, and this is a weirdly cool one. It's not gross by any means. Things like bolognese, goat cheese, paprika flavored chips, and even roasted chicken. They're awesome. The next thing I found strange when I came to France was that milk is with the dry goods. It's shelf stable and unrefrigerated. And this is because it's undergone UHT pasteurization. UHT stands for ultra high temperature pasteurization, which basically means the milk is heated up to about 280 degrees Fahrenheit for a couple of seconds, which will kill the bacteria, good and bad. But this is different than traditional pasteurization, which still requires milk to be refrigerated. So milk does have a longer shelf life and as you can see um, right now it's uh, the beginning of October and this milk is actually good unopened on the shelf until December. France has a good selection of toilet paper, although I have to say it's not as cushy as the Cottonelle and Charmin that I'm used to back home. But that said, that's not what I find weird. What's weird is that they're scented toilet paper. So the toilet paper comes in different colors like light pink, light blue, light orange, but it is scented. Think marine scented, aloe scented, citrus scented, and what the heck is up with that? It's a little weird, right? And one other quick thing, if you enjoyed this video and would like to see more from the French grocery store, I did a whole one hour live broadcast that I'll link above. So be sure to check that out for more info on products and tips and tricks just about French culture and the grocery store. Okay, that wraps up today's video. Thank you again so much for watching. Be sure to head down below to the description box for more info on this topic over on my blog. And I'll see you next time. Hit that subscribe button and salut.